You have to make it a noise. Yeah, louder. Perfect. So today we're here to examine the ulnar nerve. This is not chlorine. Okay, it's got to be hyperextension because we've lost the intrinsic flexion of the MCP joints. Okay. That was brilliant. Are you happy with that one? I think, well, I'm not going to end there. God knows what I said. Yeah, All right. quite yeah, yeah, I can do the clap. Examining the median nerve. The median nerve again comes down, it forms from the lateral contribution and medial contribution to the median nerve here. It's one of those landmarks when we're exploring the infraclavicular plexus. Little finger and thumb and pull up towards you. We can see that Louis doesn't have a palmaris longus. All these triceps dips have been worth it, Louis. I don't do triceps. <laughs> what, the? <Lee? laughs> <laughs> the next branch, brachioradialis. So we have resisted elbow flexion, and you'll see the brachioradialis standing out beautifully just there. And this is a nice long tendon, useful for tendon transfers as well. If I ask Louis to grip my fingers as hard as he can, the first thing he does is stabilise his wrist in extension. If I hold his wrist flexed and ask him to grip me again, he's still strong, but I'm able to resist that. Whereas when he's free to extend the wrist, he places all these flexors on great advantage to give me a much stronger grip. You can't see the three heads of triceps. Cash has been seeing the mirror for years. Where's the lateral end of the moment? Where's the meat? Where's the bingo? Three bingo wings. Are you sure it's not biased like uniceps? Yeah. <laughs> right, so we're now going to stand up. We're going to do this from the front and then from the back.